One thing that's definitely not going right, 20 homeless veterans have been kicked out of an upstate New York hotel to make room for migrants being bused there from New York City. The CEO of the YIT Foundation, which is helping to house those vets, tells the New York Post, whether you agree with asylum seekers being here or not, we can't just ignore these veterans that are in our charge that we are supposed to protect. We need to put them first. New York State Assemblyman and spokesman for the foundation, Brian Marr, joins me now. Brian, thank you for joining us. Absolutely, it's a pleasure. Listen, first of all, tell us what the YIT Foundation is and why they're involved in this. No, it's amazing. I get to join you this morning and talk about a personal friend, someone who's an American hero, Sharon Tony Finch. And this is an individual who is an Iraq combat veteran hmm. who was uh, part of a, a motorcade that was annihilated by an IED. This is someone who was wounded in her second tour. And when she came home, she needed help. One of the things that happened to her while she was still in the military is she got pregnant. Um, she had a preemie. It was one pound. His name was Yerick Israel Tony, Y-I-T. Mm -hmm. Seven months later, she lost that child. Mm. And she lived through an experience where she needed help with bills, transportation. And that's what inspired her to start her foundation. But when she helped people that were similar to her situation, she also found out that there was a lot of veterans that were homeless, that needed shelter, transportation, and medical appointments. Yeah. So YIT, um, they really expanded their mission to cover homeless veterans. I think what's so great about you... Biden government broadcasts new package designed to reduce the percentage of homelessness. The Biden admin revealed latest strategies on Thursday to support the nation state's homeless populace, Introducing a contemporary innovation fast-tracking local endeavors in six of the country's most overcrowded metropolises as fragment of a greater objective to decrease the nation's destitution by 25% by 2025. The pilot project named All Inside will see the U.S. between the Agency Assembly on Homelessness and its 19 federal associate organizations affiliate with national and civic governments in Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles, the Phoenix, Arizona, metro area, Seattle, and the state of California to accelerate activities toward accommodating the unhoused population. In a detail file disseminated with CNN on Thursday, the Biden admin issued a statement that it plots to organize teams throughout the central government to vulcanize appraisals for potential zones of supervisory respite, subsidy prospects, and colleague interacting, while each community under the All Inside initiative will see a federal official entrenched to aid on the local level to find them locations. And right now, what we've tried to do is let those veterans know we appreciate them. We're embarrassed by what's happened to them, but we have their backs. You know, a New York City spokesperson says we're asking Orange County to manage less than one quarter of one percent uh, of the asylum seekers who have come to New York City with New York paying for shelter, food and services. I think what's telling about that is you can take things and reframe them. But that's still 20 veterans that are kicked out of their home. And we just know about 20 veterans. Yeah. And we know about weddings um, whose parties have been canceled. Yeah. We don't know how far reaching this is. And what Sharon has been hearing is throughout the country, other veterans organizations and other organizations that really help at-risk Americans are coming forward and letting her know, hey, this happened to us, but they're afraid to speak out. Sharon spoke out, and now she's getting hate messages. She asked me to handle this interview today because she wants to focus on the veterans. And by the way, one of these veterans, 30 years old, he was there for the Afghanistan pullout. For me, one of the most embarrassing moments for our country in our history. And after getting home, he was kicked out of this hotel, trying to reintegrate back into our society. Tell, uh, tell us how people can go help the YIT Foundation real quick. Sure. So I pinned it to uh, my social media, Assemblyman Brian Marr, Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook. You'll be able to donate, learn more, and help Sharon and her team of veterans, combat veterans, continue to help those in our community. Thank you so much for what you do. I know that you all have filed suit in Orange County. Hopefully you win that and uh, get uh, Americans taken care of first there. Absolutely. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.